Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wet test on a Chanel sunscreen. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so I can create more contents like this. So this is the Chanel Essential Sunscreen. It is SPF 50, it has zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, and octinose in here, and also an antioxidant. And this is how debug looks like. And let's open this package. Okay, so the sunscreen is yellow. It's very soft and silky and feels very lightweight. It has a pretty strong fragrance. That blended up really well and absorbed into my skin really fast. I'm going to apply another layer to see if there's any pills. And no pills. There's definitely a white cast on my skin tone with the sunscreen and it's a little bit dewy so I feel it may be a little bit oily for my skin. I'm going to add a little bit of my e.l.f. brow gel. I'm going to use my Ilia Multicolor Stick. This is in the color Tenderly. And this is how it looks like. I'm going to add a little bit of my Westman Atelier lip gloss and this is in the color Choo Choo. I'm going to wear the sunscreen for the rest of the day and see how it does. It has been an hour and the sunscreen looks a little bit greasy on me and also it's getting a little bit patchy. It has been six hours and this is how my skin looks like. Now the white cast is definitely still there and the sunscreen is definitely a little bit oily for my skin but it's not overly oily and it's not irritating and also my skin is not dry. So overall this is a decent sunscreen. It's just not a sunscreen for me because I don't like this white cast on my skin and also it's a little bit oily for my liking and I don't like the fragrance in this sunscreen. It's pretty strong. Though I do like this packaging. It's very compact, very small and it's very high-end looking. It's very luxurious to carry this sunscreen around. So I'm definitely going to finish this because it's a pricey sunscreen. Uh, but this sunscreen textures and color. This yellow tint here. The sunscreen blends really well every time I reapply it. And definitely no pills. But the fragrance though is so strong. The yellowness of the sunscreen and the texture reminds me of the Summer Friday sunscreen. And it is this sunscreen here. The Summer Friday is less yellow versus the Chanel. It's a little bit more yellow. But the texture and the consistency feels very similar. And when I apply both sunscreen on my face, it has a little bit of a white cast. 
but the Sunday Friday sunscreen only has zinc oxide versus the Chanel sunscreen has zinc and titanium dioxide. And two of my favorite sunscreens that contain both titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are my SkinCeutical sunscreen and my Sheer Tint PCA sunscreen here. Both of these have pretty tint and the SkinCeutical sunscreen is also SPF 50. And this is how it looks like. It is pretty lightweight, but the color is very pretty. Let me see if I can cover the white cast here. It absorbs fast and blends well and no cast at all on my skin. And it keeps my face on a matte side, so it works well for oily skin. And this is a PC sunscreen, it's SPF 45, but it's water resistant for 80 minutes and has a sheer tint. And with this sunscreen, there's no cast as well. And this sunscreen is not oily for oily skin. And I love the color of this sunscreen. Although I really like this packaging of this sunscreen, it's very high end, it's very cute to carry this bottle around, but it doesn't work for my skin. And that is it for today. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. All that really helps out my YouTube algorithm and that really helps me to create more content. Like always, I'll see you next time. Bye.